remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? A 10-year-old boy surrendered to police after hiding in a shed and firing a shotgun at them. San Diego police said the unusual firefight began when the boy's parents called the police because he was having an emotional and mental episode. Police said the boy grabbed a hammer and a knife from his house. He initially spoke with police before running into a shed in his backyard where a shotgun was stored and began firing rounds off at the police. The San Diego Union Tribune reported gunshots kicked off a nearly two-hour standoff between the boy and San Diego police. Eventually, SWAT officers and an armored vehicle arrived on the scene. During the standoff, a nearby elementary school was put on lockdown and a home was evacuated. The boy turned himself in around 11.30 a.m. Officers said the boy would be put in protective custody and given a mental health evaluation. The Popo said this family, you're going to get a kick out of this one. They said that they responded to the situation like they would have any other situation, but kept in mind that they were dealing with a child. Remember that. They were dealing with a child. I'll come back to that. He said that responding officers were taking it slowly to reach a peaceful resolution. Why didn't the police take it slowly when they hopped out of their vehicles and killed 12-year-old Tamir Rice within seconds of arriving on the scene? Tamir Rice had a toy gun that he never even pointed at the police. He didn't even fire a BB round. And they gunned him down, put him in a casket. What's that about? Anybody got any ideas? Uh, who keeps a shotgun in their backyard shed? Why did they have a shotgun back there? What, what mom and dad got going on? Wow. How could a child have such easy access to a shotgun? This kid, oh yeah, he's prime. He's ready for jail. He going to jail. 10 years old? I mean, how do you top that? Imagine, you go for your spring break. You come back to school. Well, what did you do, little Timmy? Well, I had a shootout with the police. <laughs> Who gonna top that? You can't top a shootout with the police and you get to survive and brag about it? Man, you know that boy gonna do something else. They may as well go ahead and lock him up right now because that is a school shooter in the making. That is a mass murderer in the making. May as well go ahead on and lock him up right now. Now, he will be a menace to society. Ten years old, a shootout with the police, put the school on lock, made somebody evacuate their home, a ten-year-old, and they're locking up little six-year-old black girls for having a temper tantrum? Putting them in cuffs? I bet you anything they didn't cuff that boy. Man, when I was 10 years old, I was playing dodgeball in my yard. I was thinking about having shootouts with the police. We played cops and robbers. <laughs> that was it. With toy guns, cap guns. Sometimes we didn't even have guns. We just had our, hand, our, we just had our hands. Just pow, pow. <laughs> this dude had a shootout with the police, 10 years old. This part right here gets me, y'all. The police said they responded to the situation like they would have any other situation. But they kept in mind that they were dealing with 
a child. It is absolutely amazing how they can do that when they want to. Absolutely amazes me. They keep a shotgun in their backyard shed. What the hell do they keep in the living room? A lawnmower? No more talk. What the haters talking about?